Hi viewers, this is Einstein Techno Solution and me, your Faraday. In this video, you are going to learn about the capacitor. Now, what is the capacitor? What is the operation inside the capacitor? What are the types of capacitor? So these are the things we are going to learn in today's tutorial. So before going into the tutorial, so please subscribe my channel to get a regular update about the basic electronics than 8051 tutorial, peak tutorial, arm tutorial, Arduino tutorial and some project ideas. Um, and please click the ringer button near the subscribe button. Okay. So if you click the bell button, you can get the notification day to day. Okay. Uh, so let's enter into the program. What is a capacitor? Mm. A capacitor is nothing, it is a charge storing device. How it stores the charges? Any guess? Um, when I go through Google, I get some ideas how it stores the charge. So I give a small pictures diagram. So just note it down. Uh, do you know who designed the capacitor? Uh, when I go through Google, the Google says the capacitor was designed by Edward George Von Kellist. He is the man who designed the capacitor. So, how he designed the capacitor? So, just go through the uh, image. There are two plates joined with the insulator. So, two separate plates. There is no connection between these two plates. Okay, there is an insulator between this plate. So, the insulator does not connect electricity just uh, note it down the insulator does not contact electricity the insulator may be uh, anything else a rubber maybe a paper maybe some wooden dust uh, and so on there are a lot of insulating materials uh, in the valve okay so these two may plates have some charges uh, see the diagram i have connected a battery to two plates so automatically the current conduction starts what is mean by current condition the flow of electrons so if you note on the plates uh, two plates have a positive polarity and a negative polarity uh, what the thing is really happen the positive electrons automatically transfer from the battery to the first plate so positive electrons has to go to the second terminal to close the circuit but the dielectric becomes the, a problem what is doing it does not transfer the positive electrons to the negative plates this is the real thing happen so what happens at a time all electrons gathered in a place so there is the electromagnetic induction that means electromagnetic field is generated on a positive plate so at the time what happens automatically the electrons in the second plate has been attracted that means positive electrons always attract negative electrons so it attracts all the negative electrons on the left side of the plate sorry at the right side of the plate okay uh, and ripple the positive electrons on the left left to the right side of the plate okay so automatically there is a charging and discharging for um, charging and discharging function automatically starts by this electromagnetic field depending upon the size of the plate and the size of the insulator defines the capacitance of a capacitor this is the real actual thing happens this is how it stores the charge and discharge okay so let's come to the application what is the application used in capacitor uh, you well known about the conversion of power supply from ac to dc what they are doing converting 230 volt uh, and stepping down through transformers and the transformer give the ac output that ac output is converted from ac to dc using the diode bridge rectifier after that what they are doing they are just placing a capacitor parallel to both polarity the positive and negative what is happens it will pass the ac current and bypass the uh, sorry uh, pass the dc current and grounded ac current how it happens actually the capacitor act as a low pass filter what is meant with this low pass filter low pass filter in a sense it just allow 
uh, low frequency signals and bypass the high frequency signals when you say about AC current we say 230 volt and 50 hertz generally we say about this 230 volt but the real thing is 230 volt 50 hertz it consists of 50 hertz of frequency but in case of DC current it's 0 hertz so what will happen the capacitor will pass the DC current and bypass the AC current as ground because it acts as a low pass filter okay uh, and then about memory uh, you well known about ROM, RAM our hard disk is a memory so in the hard disk it will store some data data in a form of voltage this is the real thing happens inside the ROM okay uh, just uh, see my picture I have given a small data for example, example uh, if it store if a memory stores an F5 a data what is the meaning uh, have binary format of F5 1111 okay what will happen there are some capacitors four number of capacitors will charge and 15 capacitor will discharge and 60 capacitor will charge seventh capacitor will discharge and eighth capacitor will charge this is the real thing happen inside the memory but outside we are getting the data as a digital format okay but in uh, but the back end of the memory everything is a voltage format everything is stored inside the capacitor inside the room there is a capacitor and resistor some TTL logics okay so these are the applications of the capacitor then about the types already these capacitors are divided into two different types of categories and the capacitor will be uh, extended as parent okay what are the categories electrolytic non-electrolytic non-electrolytic in a sense it also say as the um, uh, defined as the ceramic capacitors okay uh, initially uh, i have given us the about the uh, uh, mica capacitor so mica capacitor means the product is made by mica that's all uh, it operates at 50 volt 100 volt 200 volts for uh, final roll in dc and it the range is uh, from if maybe uh, one picofarad to one lakh picofarad one picofarad to one lakh picofarad this is from mica then ceramic capacitor ceramic capacitor means disc capacitor uh, major the persons who saw these capacitors see the picture okay uh, disc capacitor and this capacitor i used as a coupling capacitor coupling in a sense it will just fetch some electricity to my hardware well, suppose if i want to connect a motor uh, I, when the power supply is not enough for the motor what I do I just place this capacitors between two terminals of the motor uh, what this capacitor it will fetch some voltage and give to the motor ok uh, this capacitor is also known as coupling capacitor so just go through google uh, and the range of this capacitor in a sense 1 nanofarad to 100 microfarad ok uh, then electrolytic capacitor uh, electrolytic capacitor is also known as condenser uh, so uh, if you go to an electron elect, electron shop just off oh, i need a 100 microfarad condenser and so on uh, these capacitors have polarity positive polarity and negative polarity okay uh, this capacitor is film made of electrolytic liquid uh, that means uh, there are two plates and uh, at the center there is a dielectric material or insulated material on that insulated material there will flow some electrolytic liquid okay uh, and these uh, capacitors uh, operates on dc voltages and the range vary from 0 0.6 something else uh, 0 0.4 microfarad to 15000 microfarad okay uh, then paper capacitor the paper capacitor is used for uh, purely for ac voltages uh, i saw the paper capacitor on uh, olden um, uh, transistor radios not uh, latest digital radios and olden transistor radios i saw these paper capacitors uh, saw the image uh, okay uh, these capacitors operate around 600 volts ac2 okay uh, next up on uh, variable capacitors Variable capacitors means uh, I use variable capacitor in my college. Right now I am not going to college, but in my college I use this variable capacitor, uh, decayed capacitor box, and trimmer capacitor. Trimmer capacitor to variable capacitor. The trimmer capacitor is also present in that olden uh, transfer radius I uh, already saw in my olden days. Okay, uh, this uh, capacitor does not have some certain values because the range of this capacitor varies. 
okay and now what is what they are doing they are integrated these capacitors and converting us as the md capacitor just i have given the uh, picture of the image uh, in this video so this is the smd capacitor uh, smd capacitor is too compact and too efficient okay uh, if you saw such uh, common in any board it's an smd capacitor uh, after this the evolution of S smd devices our hardware become too 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 compact uh, just uh, just uh, yeah. compare with the uh, other products uh, olden days products and latest products okay uh, I thought the video is enough for you. Uh, I thought you uh, understood the full explanation um, about this capacitor. Okay, so if you want more details, just go and visit my website www.einsteintechnosolution.com. Then subscribe my channel. We will give weekly updates regarding the basic electronics series, then a microcontroller series, and so on. Okay, uh, so stay tuned, guys. Be with me. It's your Faraday.